Hello and welcome to these HTML tutorials lesson number nine and we're talking about uh, form elements in the previous lesson we talked about the input um, field um, with the input text field and the submit button the reset button um, and uh, we talked about um, basically uh, using the input field so you can reduce the size of it allow only so many characters to be inputted into the field um, so what we're going to do now is continue on and add the next um, field type which is um, the select drop down menu okay so let's get rid of this one more time and we'll save this out as index.html as normal we're going to get rid of this and we're going to zoom in. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, first of all, let's give it a a, um, a title. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to give it uh, h1 tag and say our contact form, just so we make it a little bit nicer and then we're going to add a HR tag and then we're going to make uh, a paragraph and our first our first field is going to say uh, it's going to be the name and then we're going to do uh, already first name um, surname and then we'll basically uh, uh, make a drop down me menu for male or female okay so first things first is we say first name equals input type equals text and size equals 15 name equals name or shall say first underscore name let's just zoom out just a little bit okay and uh, what we'll do is put a break tag here and come down to here and what we'll do is we'll just copy all this uh, text here and place it down here and we'll say surname come to here and say surname and that's also an input type um, text field okay the next thing that we're going to do is talk about the drop down menus now these are basically used with or made up with the um, select tag so first of all let's make another uh, paragraph and we're going to say uh, gender first of all and we won't make a we won't put a break on this okay so but we'll go to a new line so we open up the select tag with the select tag and we also have to close the select tag okay and we close the select tag. Now this is uh, basically anything that goes inside here is now part of the drop down menu. Now it's good practice to give this um, a name so we'll say gender. Okay now with inside the select tags um, for every element that's with inside of it it comes within the option tags. Okay so we just type option and then we close the option tag and inside here we say um, select gender okay and the value um, would be equal to select okay and so that would be um, the first message that will we'll, that will display on the drop down menu, you'll see shortly. So we need now type the next one out and we'll say value equals uh, male and we'll close this and in here we say male and the next one will open up and say option value equals female and then write female and so on okay why am I putting a value here well the basically the text that's going to be displaying is this text here male female and select gender okay 
but the the male female and select here are for the likes of JavaScript and PHP to be able to um, talk to and find out um, which one with the person has selected so for the time being just for good practice um, type it out out like this to be honest with you if you're making a contact form um, with a drop down menu then it needs to be able to be processed as well otherwise you can't do anything with the contact form okay so let's um, save this out and oh okay last thing as well what we need is we obviously need a um, a submit button so we say input type equals uh, whoops submit name equals submit and value equals we're going to say submit this time okay and let's save this out and we'll shut this down and have a look at this i oh, just got to drag this over and there we go okay so we've got our uh, our contact form within our h1 tag then first name we can type it in there and then as you see gender it's got a drop down what we're actually going to do make it look a little bit nicer just put a break tag there i never said i wasn't going to but i am oh actually i preferred it without just like that that's better okay now I, I believe we've got time there's two different methods we've if you're going to ask someone with what their gender is male or female well we could also ask um, whether they are mister or missus you know we don't really want to ask both because if they're mister then we know they're male um, so what what it is is the next um, type of um, um, form elements is the um, radio button okay so what we'll do is we'll make another paragraph and we'll say um, title and we'll say we won't put a break on this either and the next one is input type equals ra radio okay name equals now this is where it's important um, to put the name on it is because it needs to have um, basically to know that they're, they're, they're grouped together when you put in input uh, radio button okay well, I'll, I'll explain it in a second so in here uh, we can basically say uh, title and uh, the value equals mister okay and so that's going to be the radio button here and then we'll have um, the mister mister here okay and then we put a space there and what we're going to do is just copy this so it's important to note that there's a space at the end of this and we'll put it to a new line and we'll say misses and we'll change this to misses and so if we save this and we have a look at this we refresh and now you can see when I click on this it goes to mister when I click on this the mister one goes over to the misses well if I now basically take away uh, this name on the misses and come back to this and refresh now it's on the mister already and when I click the misses it clicks as well so we want it to be true or false basically that's it and you can't get rid of it now so it needs to have um, a minimum of two radio buttons to be able to make this work okay so we'll put the name back here as a title okay well unfortunately um, we've run out of time so we'll uh, leave it for the next tutorial but let's just uh, leave it and have a look what we've done yep cool um, my name is David Thorne um, check out my site www.thornwebdesign.de and to see all the other tutorials see you for the next tutorial bye bye